Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And this time we are diving into the Mutant Genesis uh, expansion. I am playing one of the heroes from that pack, which is uh, Shadowcat Kitty Pride. And we are starting off with the first scenario of the box, Saber Tooth. Uh, I haven't played any games of these uh, scenarios uh, yet. <laughs> I haven't even tried the heroes yet, so this will be a completely blind playthrough. I have looked through the cards quickly to see what the decks are all about, uh, at least the hero decks. I haven't even looked what the uh, encounter deck has in it. So this will be a blind playthrough and it can get quite messy, so probably won't be able to defeat all the scenarios with the uh, starter or the pre-built decks uh, right away, but We'll see how this goes, so let's get started. Okay, and we are set up... Uh, actually, I forgot to put uh, Threat over to find the Senator. So, in the setup, uh, we set up the Finding the Senator side scheme, and Robert Kelly is attached to that side scheme. Uh, you can't see, but uh, Robert, uh, Robert Kelly has 9 health, and if Robert Kelly is defeated or leaves play, uh, we lose the game at this point. So we need to keep Robert Kelly alive. And if um, uh, Sabertooth attacks and the attack is undefended, uh, the damage goes to Robert Kelly. So we need to try to avoid that. So, uh, well, uh, there's no threat on the main scheme yet. Uh, let's read the cards, because these are new cards for me. So Sabertooth is one scheme to attack Brotherhood of Mutants, traded forced response after Sabertooth activates against you, discard the top card of the encounter deck, heal damage from Sabertooth equal to the number of boost icons uh, discarded this way. So uh, even if we try to rush down Sabertooth, uh, he'll get heals if we can't stun him or uh, confuse if we are in alter ego and then we have the stalk by saber tooth so forced response after res after resolving the step one of the villain phase deal two damage to robert kelly three damage if there is at least six threat here while robert kelly is attached uh, the, to find the to find the senator treat his text box as if it were blank and if uh, robert kelly leaves play uh, we lose the game and then uh, uh, finding the Senator 5 threat per player, uh, Robert Kelly cannot be healed by player card effects and cannot have upgrades attached. When defeated, uh, the first player detaches Robert Kelly from this scheme and takes control of him. Uh, advance the main scheme to 2A, flip this card and place it next to the main scheme. So there's a uh, environment here, uh, so I uh, don't even know what reads yet. And we are uh, Kitty Pride setup puts mass upgrade into play solid side face up. Solid side reads mass form uh, permanent hero response. Exhaust this card, generate a, a physical resource for an attack or defense event. Response after you attack or defend in solid mass form, flip this card. Okay, so we need to get rid of this threat somehow we are playing an ag aggression deck so we'll see how that goes uh, so we'll uh, we have shuffled the deck so we'll draw our opening hand and it is six cards one two three four five six and um, kitty pride's action in the uh, alter ego is flip your mass for from upgrade limit once per round uh, let's see paste mass form permanent while shadow cast is defending she cannot take damage Force response after you attack or defend in face mass form, flip this card. Okay. So, uh, we get energy, uh, gatekeeper, airwalk, face strike, X mansion, kitty's room. So, well, um, do we have any way to remove threat? Well, we need minions for the gatekeeper, so I think that's not good. I don't think the X. Mansion is that good, uh, Kitty's room, we could play that. 
Well, we have the air wall. So we could attack. We flip the solid to uh, paste and then we can remove four or we can actually thwart two. So yeah, we'll do that immediately. So uh, we'll draw two more cards. It is Wolverine and Face Strike, so we get Wolverine right away. Okay, let, let's see what we can do. And uh, first off, uh, nothing to do in Alter Ego, I think. Uh, yeah, we don't need to heal damage and I don't want to change forms quite yet. So we'll flip. We'll thwart for two here. Okay. Then, um, let's see, we want to air walk. Oh yeah, and this flips because we attack, uh, oh no. We... Okay, so it doesn't flip yet, so we need to face strike to attack. Well, unfortunately, uh, we save Wolverine for next round, probably. So we use Phase Strike and Energy to face to Phase Strike. So deal 6 damage to an enemy. If you are in Phase Mass form, you may discard an attachment with the Tech Zero. Or... Okay, so we don't do that, but we'll deal the 6 damage. And uh, we flip this. Because we did an attack, and it doesn't need to be a basic attack. It can be an event, so we are phased now. Uh, while Shadaka is in defending, she cannot take damage uh, for response after your attack or defend in phased mass form. Click this card. Okay. Then uh, we still have... Uh, we'll use Kitty's room to play Airwalk. Uh, remove two threat from ski four threat instead if you are in paste so we remove all of this this uh, is done so we flip it protect the senator mission robot killer cannot be healed by play card effects and cannot have upgrades attached hero response after your hero defense against an attack from saber to spend two resources of any type ready your hero only pl the player who controls robot carry can uh, trigger this ability so we need to try to remember that. So uh, Robert Kelly is attached to us. The first player controls Robert Kelly. He doesn't count against your ally limit and can't have player cards attached. Post interrupt. When an enemy resolves an undefended attack against you, deal damage to Robert Kelly. And that is everything. Uh, we ready up. We draw back up to five. We get ready to rumble, uh, intangible inter interference, uh, faced and confused, and we have genius, so let's see. I will go to the villain phase, uh, separate attacks, I will defend with Shadow Cat. Uh, let's see, after, okay, so first we deal 2 plus 1 is 0 because we are in phase form so this flips back to solid then we reveal this so uh, there is one so we heal one damage from saber tooth so back to eight encounter card is uh, adamantium claw attached to saber tooth saber tooth attacks gain piercing hero action spend uh, resources and discard this card and uh, that is the villain phase. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well... Oh yeah, we need to advance this also. Oh no, advance, not... So, uh, the injured senator. Okay, uh, we had to deal one phase down in front of the card. It should have been something, but it is this. So we have the Metamorphic Mayhem. It is a side scheme with three threats on it. Uh, when defeated, the player who defeated this scheme shuffle each uh, shapeshift their card from the encounter discard pile in their deck. Okay. 
then we flip this. So, uh, 9 threat to lose the game. Also, when completed, defeat Robert Kelly. So, if Robert Kelly leaves play, the players lose the game. Yeah. So, now we just need to defeat Sabertooth. Straightforward. Okay, well, let's see what we can do this round. So, we have the phased and confused hero form all attached to an enemy, minus one per enemy, forced to interrupt when attached enemy would attack, discard, discard instead. Then confuse that enemy. Mm. Let's see. I think I will play Wolverine instead. Let's see. Discard intangible interference after you ignore the crisis icon of our scheme. Remove two threat from that scheme. I think we want to play that. So if we use these three to play Wolverine, well, uh, we can. Oh, yeah. Uh, I could have saved one last round. Oh, it is what it is. Uh, let's think. I'll save this for next round. This round I will uh, use Genius uh, ready to rumble, uh, face and confuse to play Wolverine. Just because Wolverine. Um, Wolverine uh, Wolverine's attack skin piercing. Uh, response after your turn begins, heal one damage from Wolverine. So we'll attack with Wolverine uh, for three damage, and Wolverine takes two consequence of damage. And that is it, we'll ready up. We draw back up to five, one, two, three, four. We get another airwalk, ready to rumble, face and Jojo, and <clears throat> we had the intangible interference. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we'll add. We forgot to add the threat last round, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I think I forgot to do that. Yeah, uh, Robert Kelly should have two damage on it. No, uh, we advanced before this ever happened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm still a bit fuzzy with all of this new card, so yeah. So uh, we add one threat here. So Saber to the attacks. Uh, Shadow Cat will defend. Uh, so three plus two, three. Oh yeah, there's uh, threat here also. <clears throat> So 5, 6 against 2, so we take 4 damage. Ouch. So we'll flip this over because we defended. That's okay for me because we have the airwalk and we want to remove the metaphoric mayhem. And then uh, we get us an encounter card. It is uh, Animal Ferocity, and that's the Sabertooth. Sabertooth gains Stalwart. Okay. So we can stun or confuse Sabertooth. Uh, hero action spent resources to discard this card, so quite costly stuff to remove. And that is that. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, let's see what we want to do on this round. I think we want to get rid of the metaphor mayhem. So we are playing airwalk. Uh, let's play. Oh yeah, uh, saber to the attack. So we need to heal also three. And uh, after your turn begins, so Wolverine healed one damage. Let's see what we want to do. So we are faced, so, and we can't defend, so. Robert Kelly would take damage, our Wolverine would defend if we play toe-to-toe. -to -toe. 
I think I don't want to do that yet. Uh, I'll use the intangible interference to play Airwalk. We remove three, uh, four threats from here. Yeah, and this goes away. And let's see, shape shifter. Do we have any? No shape shifters here, so that was good to remove now. Uh, Wolverine will attack. Three. And then. Uh, let's see. Let's do uh, face and confused on Sabertooth. Okay, that's everything. Uh, we ready up. We draw one, two, three, four, five. We get uh, magic, attack training, uh, steam strike, acute control, and hit shift. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat over here. Saber to tries to attack, and uh, we discard this and cancel the attack. <coughs> Mm, and uh, we can't put the uh, confused on saber tooth because uh, the, because of the stalwart encounter card for this round is oh yeah uh, we could have read it but we didn't do it from the protect senator. So advanced, Saber to the schemes for one, plus one is two. And that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay. <coughs> ah, sorry, one bit. Uh, coffee at the moment because of reasons, uh, flu and stuff. Um, I think I could play magic. Okay, uh, Wolverine heals. Magic doesn't do it. There, there isn't probably that many enemies, so that is pointless. A good control upgrade. Uh, mm, do we want to do... Well, let's play a good control. We'll play Team Strike. Can I get attack training on the Wolverine? No. So I'll use Magic to play Team Strike. I'll exhaust Wolverine and Shadow Cat to hit for 5 damage. So we'll advance. So Sabertooth gets toughness, and uh, after Sabertooth activates against you, discard the top card of the encounter deck, heal damage from Sabertooth equal to the number of boost icons discarded this way. Okay, mm. so attack, so this flips. And... Uh, That is it. Uh, let's back up uh, a bit. So I'll uh, save the quick shift and use the attack training to play acute control because we want to change our form. So we're ready up. Uh, we draw back up to five, one, two, three, four, five, uh, four. We get uh, ready to rumble, strength, shadow and steel, lockheed, and quick shift. We had so um, separate to uh, we'll add one threat to the main scheme. We need to remove some threat next round somehow. Separate to attacks, 
Uh, hero interrupt uh, when an enemy attacks. If you are in solid mass form, change to paste mass form. So I'll change to paste. And defend with shadow cat. So uh, 3 plus 1 is 4, but we ignore it. Then we flip that, this back. We get an encounter. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Sabertooth has 15 health, so no healing. So, 15 health to go. I think that's doable. So, uh, so we flip one card. Saberhood would have uh, healed for three damage. Then uh, we'll get an encounter card. It is unrelenting savage. Uh, Sabertooth attacks you if that if he has no sustained damage. Uh, if he has not sustained damage, he gets plus one attack for this activation. So uh, let's see. Fortunately, I think Wolverine has to fight the dust here. Yeah. So Sabertooth is attacking for three, four plus the boost card. Let's see what. Do. Not much. So, unfortunately, uh, Wolverine will defend. And Sabertooth would heal zero, but Wolverine is defeated. That's a shame. We would have wanted to hit with Wolverine. But that is it, so... Mm, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, let's see. Uh, we are in solid form. So if we play uh, Lockheed, uh, we deal two damage to an enemy, so we can get rid of the tough. And I think that's good enough. So I'll use uh, strength to play Lockheed, and we get rid of the tough. And uh, I'll play ready to rumble. That is a no. Uh, Lockheed will ward for one damage. Uh, no, uh, one threat. I mean, and uh, we'll go to the villain phase at the ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Shadowcat Surprise, uh, Gatekeeper, Shadowcat Surprise, Team Strike, Colossus. We'll go to the villain phase. We add uh, one threat here. Sh uh, Sabertooth attacks, Lockheed defense. So three plus one. Discard a random card from your hand. Uh, team strike. That isn't, isn't a bad trade off here. And uh, Lockheed is defeated. We get an encounter card. It is Pyro. So let's see what Pyro does. Uh, two scheme, uh, zero attack. Uh, force response after Pyro attacks you, discard the top two card. Uh, let's see. No, actually, this is the boost card, so uh, Sabertooth didn't heal, and we get Mystique. Well, toughness, that, that's bad. Let's see what the Mystique does. Uh, players cannot attack the villain. Well, well this is much worse. Uh, Mystique's scheme is equal to the villain's scheme, and her attack is equal to the villain's attack, so it, it's basically a copy of Sabertooth. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Mm. Oh yeah, I uh, I was thinking why do I have four cards, but I had to discard one. So <clears throat> uh, we need to defeat Mystique somehow. Uh, 
Um, I think we want to play Colossus, maybe. This is a tough, tough choice. I well, I can't defeat Mystique yet. Either way. I could play Shadow Cat Surprise one time. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, this this is bad all together. So. Okay. Let's think because we are flipping this uh, solid form or this uh, mass form a couple of times here. So we we'll play Shadow. Uh, if we attack, this flips. If we play this, this flips. And uh, so we first want to play this to use it. And this doesn't ready in between. Uh, new card, so I have to figure this uh, uh, mechanics out a bit. So uh, we can play two Shadow Cat surprises, unfortunately, if we want to. Yeah, we can't. We, we need one more. But um, we can ready our hero. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, that that complicates things even more. So, if we hit this change this form, we can ready this card in this. We can uh, play Shadow of Surprise. Uh, we'll flip. So first. We'll flip, then we'll flip, and then we can hit again, so we flip, so we are in phase form. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> this is uh, hard. So I put the gatekeeper here, so attached to a minion, the minion get. Uh, no, we don't do that. We don't want to give the mystique too much uh, hit points. Okay. We'll hit the top off. And uh, we'll discard ready to rumble. We'll play. Uh, no, we'll hit again. This flips. So, two damage here. Then we'll use this and exhaust this to play Shadow Cat Surprise. This flips again, and we deal uh, three more damage to Mystique. And uh, I think that's everything we can do. We'll keep these two in hand. We'll ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three cards. Uh, we get uh, aggressive energy times two, gatekeeper and set up that surprise and colossus. So we are definitely going to defeat Mystic next round, but we'll then need to deal with the uh, saber. So we'll go to the villain phase. We have one threat to the main scheme. Saber to the attacks, shadow cut defends. Uh, we'll get one boost card. We take no damage. This flips and uh, Saber Tooth would heal. Mystic attacks for three damage, so uh, we are near nearly dead. So now, yeah, we uh, actually have to deal the damage to Robert Kelly from Mystic. So that, that's actually okay at this point. And we get an encounter card. It is advanced, so we might lose here 2, plus 2 is 4, and that's unfortunately not so. Again, in true solo, uh, the damned advanced uh, results in defeat, but what can you do? Um, yeah, well, I... I I feel that Shadow Cat is a really interesting uh, hero to play, 
I really like the design of flipping this. It's a, just a bit of a brain burner to keep uh, your head around wh what form are you in after your turn. Just because you want to be in a uh, phased form uh, before the enemy attacks so you don't take any damage. Next round we could have played uh, Shadowcat Surprise and uh, played these two which would have dealt two damage and killed off Mystique with this. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I think uh, uh, this isn't an easy scenario because you really need to be able to remove the threat and aggression is not that good in removing the threat. If we would have gotten a smaller, <laughs> if we would have gotten um, Pyro with four health, so we could have added the uh, gatekeeper onto Pyro, then defeat Pyro and remove a bunch of threats, but it wasn't meant to be, but still, I really like this hero. I'm not sure about the uh, scenario. It's quite straightforward uh, altogether, but seems quite hard at first play. But I'll keep playing it, but for this playthrough, uh, this is the re end result we lost against uh, Sabertooth and uh, got a good uh, idea on how the scenario and uh, Shadowcat works. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.